Fairhope police say detectives recovered a stolen handgun during their investigation into the shooting death of C.J. Edwards. The 2018 Fairhope High School graduate was shot and killed at a party on Twin Beach Road early Sunday morning. Police aren't saying that gun was used to kill Edwards, but do say the gun may have been stolen from an unlocked car earlier this year. Pictures of C.J. Edwards hang outside his Fairhope home, where a family member tells us he was killed at a birthday party around 1 in the morning on Sunday. Edwards played basketball and football. In 2017, we featured the standout wide receiver as our player of the week. Do police believe this was accidental or intentional? That's still part of what we're, we're talking to witnesses about to actually figure out if it was accidental, if it was intentional. So we're, we're still in that phase of figuring that out. Was more than one shot fired? Uh, there were multiple shots fired that night. Lieutenant Shane Nolte says it's unclear at this point what led up to shots being fired and if people were firing at each other. We're still trying to figure out how many guns were there, how many were actually fired. Nolte would not say if Edwards was shot more than once. Through the course of their investigation, Nolte says detectives recovered a stolen handgun, but he would not say if it was recovered at the crime scene. It was reported stolen in February of this year from Fairhope uh, out of a vehicle that there was no signs of it being forced entry. A problem Mobile's police chief Paul Prine discussed last week. In the first six months this year, 163 guns were reported stolen out of cars in Mobile. The vast majority, he says, were taken out of unlocked cars. We all say, how does the community help, right? Well, we can start by locking our doors and removing valuables, specifically firearms. Mm -hmm. We hear all the time about responsible gun ownership. Well, that starts at everybody in this country that owns a firearm. Don't leave them in your vehicle with an unlocked door. A visitation for Edwards is tomorrow in Daphne at Smalls Mortuary. His funeral is Friday. The last shooting death investigation in Fairhope was in December of 2014.